poem is being narrated through the mind of an Italian duke. Now, because Robert Browning is not the narrator of this poem, and it is being narrated through the mind of the duke, what we get to find out in this poem is the way the duke's mind works. And this allows us to look at, or in fact this necessitates, that we understand a literary technique which we call showing, not telling. In fact, for me, Robert Browning's My Last Duchess is one of the classic ways of teaching the literary technique of showing, not telling. And I'll explain it to you now. I'm going to tell you a piece of information. The man walked into the room. He was a strong and violent man. Now, I've just told you that piece of information. How strong and how violent is that man? Now, you've got an image in your head of how strong and how violent that man is who has just walked into the room. And that image is dependent on what you see of me because you're looking at me and saying, what would that guy think is a strong and violent man? Now this is very helpful because you can see me and you can trust that what I think is a strong and violent man is probably very similar to what you think is a strong and violent man. But what if the person giving you this information was a six-year-old child? A six-year-old child says, the man walked into the room, he was a strong and violent man. What does a six-year-old child think is a strong and violent man? To a six-year-old child, a strong and violent man can be a ten-year-old child having a temper tantrum. Imagine the person giving you this information is uh, a seasoned war veteran. And the seasoned war veteran tells you the man walked into the room, he was a strong and violent man. That man coming into the room would have to be a giant, near psychopathic, to be described as strong and violent by someone who is exposed to violence and sees extreme strength on a regular basis. So whenever you are told a piece of information, the way that information reaches you is dependent on your interpretation of the person who has given you that information. Dependent on your knowledge of that person who has given you the information. Now let me show you something. The man walked into the room. He picked up a 200 pound chair and smashed it over the head of a kneeling nun. Right, how strong is he? Well, he's strong enough to pick up a 200 pound chair. How violent is he? Well, he's violent enough to smash a kneeling nun over the head with a 200 pound chair. Now, at no point there did I tell you that he was strong. At no point did I tell you he was violent. What I did was show you two instances which would require a great deal of strength and an extraordinarily violent personality. There's a creative writing 101 thing which likes to explain that showing is always better than telling and showing is better than telling except when it isn't. It's one of those things. you know. But in this, we get a great example of getting to the character through what we are shown. This is the Duke's interpretation of events, but it shows us the way the Duke thinks.